Live entertainment, educational booths, and a petting zoo for children were all a part of Newton's annual Earth Day Festival. The event was hosted by Green Newton, a local organization created to protect natural resources and encourage businesses to be more energy efficient. Green Newton President Marsha Cooper says the goal is to teach people how to care for the climate. Maybe people will stop to think and say, wait a minute, like maybe I should adjust the thermostat in my home. Maybe I should consider uh, an electric vehicle for my next car or walk or bike more, things like that. The actions that people can take, we can each make a difference. The Newton Citizens Commission on Energy found that 60% of total greenhouse gas carbon emissions in Newton come from houses and cars. Elizabeth Sockwell, an intern for Green Newton, says Earth Day gives Newton the opportunity to spread more awareness and reach out to bring change. Earth Day is a really great opportunity to get new people who might care about the planet but don't know the in right actions they can take. Shalo Naru Donez, co-founder of Indigenous Peoples Day Newton Committee, hopes to bring awareness to honoring Indigenous lands on Earth Day. Because this is our land, yeah. legit, yeah. <laughs> and visibility, absolutely. It is very important because a lot of people don't realize that this is Indigenous land. Event organizer Marsha Cooper said that over 1,000 residents were in attendance, along with 30 local vendors including Climate Crew and Homeworks Energy, educating visitors on all the ways to be more earth-friendly in their daily lives. Reporting from Boston, I'm Lainey Broussard for BUTV 10.